Hello, welcome to Toronto TV. Uh, today we are lucky that we have the, the, C, the CYC.org organizations and into our recording room. And also we have the winners of the, the CYC Entrepreneur Contest winners. So let me, can we start with Linda or Jennifer to tell us what's, what's the CYC.org? Thank you. So Linda or Jennifer will talk. So. Okay, the CYC.org is a no nonprofit organization focused on helping students reach their full potential. We host a, a variety of virtual sessions along with in-person competitions um, focusing on the three pillars, STEM, business, and marketing, helping students portray their entrepreneurial talents and create projects that fit with their own values. It's a pleasure to be a part of CYC. So who's behind the CYC? You got a play big organization or a big funder? Because when you run an organization, you need funding, you need manpower, you need consultants, advisors. What are they? Linda, would you like to answer that? Um, okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph, for the question. Yeah. Uh, CYC, oh, currently we, uh, we receive some funding from the government, such as uh, we receive funding uh, from the Canada Summer Job, and we're able to hire 18 students to help us uh, implement uh, some of the plans. And of course, we provide training. And um, we also have donors and sponsors as well. So, um, you know, with all the support, including like a Toronto TV yourself. Yeah. So, so you're the founder, is that right? Or Yes, I'm one of the co-founders. Okay. So then it's the mastermind behind this project. All right. So, uh, okay. Then I'll ask the question to all the young people right here. How do you know the CYC and then the, why you want to get involved with CYC? Anyone? For me personally, I knew the CYC from my school. Um, so like I got really interested into CYC when they talked about the volunteer opportunities on the leadership positions and that how they really valued the mission of helping youth become the next leaders of tomorrow. Uh, 这个组织在了解了这个组织之后就觉得他们做了很多事情包括给我们一些具有领导力的机会我觉得是一个非常难得的非常宝贵的机会所以我觉得能成为这个组织的一份子也是我感到非常荣幸的一件事情 for me, it was all about, you know, you know, helping everybody else and just uh, working with like-minded people on bringing a solution into society and implementing it and seeing how it plays out and getting the opportunity to um, get a larger audience and speak and public speaking. And it was just a really great learning curve. Next. Come on. Don't wait. Uh, yeah, I learned about the CYC from school and I really love the fact that uh, it allowed students to lead uh, projects that they were truly passionate about and get their ideas into the world. Next. Um, I can go next. Um, a lot of my friends joined the CYC and they gave it really positive feedback mm -hmm. and they said that they gained a lot of leadership experience and experience like interacting with others. And I really like the CYC and it really aligns with my beliefs because they're all about um, letting out the greatest potential in youth and helping them um, put their potential to making change in the community. Okay, another one? Um, I learned about the CYC uh, at my school and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a great platform for um, to learn new things and the issues that uh, that come up are very uh, big ones in society 
So it was fun to like learn more about it and like create solutions to help those problems. Next. So Jennifer, perhaps you can talk a little bit about the script. Jennifer. Jennifer has been with us since the beginning. Maybe you want to share? Oh, okay. So. Yes. Um, I've been with the CYC since the winter of 2020. Mm -hmm. I started off as a student, then moved on to business captain, then team lead, which I'm doing now for team N for um, caring for seniors, and now a paid summer position. This organization has really helped my resume in terms of gaining me more experience in leadership and public speaking, and has added more experiences onto the resume along with the CYC award being one of the finalists. It has, it will, be a two week program at in the U United Kingdom with um, Cambridge University. It's a big learning curve for the finalists. Thank you. Okay. So does everyone talk about that one already? Okay. So then we moved on the next one is that, uh, so we want to know more about you. Can everyone say, give you 10, 15 seconds to introduce, to introduce yourself. For example, I'm Joseph Lau, I'm from Hong Kong, I'm 18 years old, older. <laughs> okay. Yeah, can, can we start with it? Like, a very? Uh, Next, Nicole. Um, hi, my name is Nicole. I'm in grade 10 and I go to Stouffville District Secondary School and I joined the CYC in the winter 2022 session. Parika? Um, hi, my name is Parnika. I'm in grade nine at Maple High School and I, I've been a part of the CYC from the spring of 2022. Okay, Veer. Hi, my name is Veer. I'm a grade nine student at uh, Maple High School, and I've been part of the CYC uh, since winter 2022. Kate. Uh, Toronto TV, the Pelman, Dada Hao, Kate, Sarahu, Jinya, Shisu, Shim, Banyan, Jinya, Shisha, Raho, Way, Shisu, I see the UN, so you can all see them, Tanda, Jin, Pelman, Jim. Simma? Simna, sorry. Hi, hi, my name is Simma Sarah Stephen. I'm in grade 11. I follow my Catholic Academy, and I've been with CYC since winter 20. Good, thank you. Grace, you have a question? Uh,那我可能想问一下，就是呃，说国语的那两位小朋友，我看到你们也是好像从嗯说中文的话，应该是从国内过来的。我想问一下，你们过来啊，加拿大有多久了？Katie uh, first. Uh 我进去就是Chinese school,九年了,所以就是在家里我也是通常说中文 厉害谢谢 So uh, I know that uh, the CYC has a STEM entrepreneur contest Can Jennifer or Linda talk about this contest? Sorry, um, about this contest or competition? Yes. Competition, yeah so basically this season, we have the three sectors, um, climate change, anti-racism, and caring for seniors. Businesses under 
each sector in its own individual sectors were um, competing against each other to build the greatest business course determined by points from attendees of the competition and who the people the students you are talking to now are the finalists of this competition each all the teams that have competed have done a remarkable job in their projects thank you you mean i think uh, according to the website is that uh, these are the finalists but only one person will be the winner to go to the uk for the cambridge learning experience is that right oh yes in terms of the the cyc award so we have finalists who are going to be determined for the end. Um, Linda, would you like to elaborate more on that? Uh,或者我講下廣東話啦,我冇呢個都好多廣東話嘅聽眾,咁就係我哋呢就我哋叫做the Jung 其實這些團裡面他們參加的比賽是由以團的名義參加的 呃,國際貿易部長Mary 今天我們會進行的最後一個決定 Simna and we, you two are a, a team, right? So that you two can open the mic and then tell us about your your your, your project and your objectives. Yes, uh, so Vera and I here today are the founders of Aviron, which is our solution to climate change. And Aviron is basically a game where users get to, um, you know, assort different waste products into different bins. So the bins that are available um, in our game is the blue bin, the green bin, and the black bin. And it's this game is just to raise awareness and educate our, our youth about the importance of waste management and the importance of proper waste disposal in Markham. And um, for future, we're probably going to reach out to different organizations throughout the world and get in contact with them and see how the waste management system is there and kind of implement that into our game to reach a further audience of youth. So, how do you see the waste management is so important for the, for the climate change? Yeah, we talk about climate change all the time. Like we have a, I mean, severe storm two weeks ago in, in Ontario. So the people have like power outage and then the, the tree collapsed. It. So uh, then, why you young people are very concerned or? More concerned than the seniors about the climate change. Is it because that's your future? 
Um, yeah, it, it, it's exactly that. It's, uh, it's our future and we care about this planet deeply. Um, and it's quite alarming the um, amount of people who are not aware of proper waste management and uh, not being aware of proper waste management can lead to many types of um, pollution, whether it be air pollution or water pollution, contributing to climate change. So I think it's a very important topic uh, for us students to deal with because this is our planet and this is where we're going to live for the rest of our lives. So when you when you run this project or plan to run this project, do you get support from your classmates, your friends, and is that right? Or... No. My question is that say like you as young people, right? You're concerned about the climate change. That's why you, you, you join this category and try to fight the waste management, all right? So I believe that you not only talk to your partner, but you may also talk to your friends and your classmates about this project. What are the response? I just like that approach. Right, we've been in contact with all our friends and getting um, feedback on what we've been doing here and their inputs on climate change and their actions now. And so after we implemented the game and got a demo and everything, we showed it to our friends and everyone who's close to us and we got their feedback. But even before then, we before we even implemented this game and started this as a solution, we got their feedback through a Google form. We took a survey with them and we got their opinion on oh, um, which products, waste products go into which bin. And turns out only one in three of them actually knew um, proper system and how to properly dispose of these waste products. So it was really quite alarming to us. And that's why we took up this um, important topic of waste management and started from there and developed a game. That's one, one quick point, education, right? People just talk about climate change and they don't know how to combat the climate, how to improve the climate change, how to combat the waste management. Where right, can we move on to the next topic? The team is Cape Town. Mm -hmm. I think your project is about the racism. Can you tell us about your project? Uh Culture 对独特的美然后就是其他的通过这个也可以去功课可能曾经某些曾经大家对某些种族有的一些偏见然后让他们知道其实很多时候他们看到的其实并不是事实然后通过艺术去让大家去更加了解不同的文化 对，我觉得这个idea非常好，因为那个racism，种族歧视是嗯呃，其实是很多国家都呃会出现的问题。然后再加拿大，其实已经非常普遍了。呃，但是我也看到，就是很多好像的嗯，像的CYC这样子的organ
啊、uh, ，其实首先我们啊、uh, 有自己的 YouTube， 我们有自己的油管的频道，我们也有呃、uh, 像 Instagram， 像我们也有自己的网站，所以我们其实是通过各种不同的途径去让大家来了解我们，让大家去了解不同的文化。然后其次，我们的 CYC 也有自己的官方账号，那我们也就是利用了。就是 CYC 啊、呃、受到的关注，我们也通过这个啊、呃，能够让大家去啊、呃、推广，能够让 CYC 的这个账号去推广我们的这个项目，然后让更多的人能够通过 CYC 这个大的组织去认识我们正在做的一些小事，然后我们也希望能够嗯、呃、通过这。这种多种方式，让大家去更加了解不同的文化，这也是我们最后想要实现的终极目标。Right, I totally agree. Music is the common language for everyone, right? So,、uh, yeah. All right. And next, the next team also on racism is that the Bavari Yu and Erica Sin Sinjuri. Can you two talk about your project? I'm lost. 对啊、呃，我们的我们的项目是通过博客，啊、呃，给呃给小给给小朋友们知道为什么种族呃歧视是一个很大的问题啊、呃，因为有时候我们在加拿大不觉得呃这是一个很大的问题，但是其实有歧视有歧呃尤其是这几年，啊、呃，就是种族歧呃歧视就就是越来越大，然后我们是呃通过博客会就是。会告诉大家，嗯，就是为什么这这个是个很很不好的呃问题。然后我们也就是面试了很多啊、呃、孩子们在学校，然后他们的经验，啊、嗯，对。I have a question. Say, uh, Barry and Erica, you are from two different races, right? So, are you two of the classmate, or how do you know each other? So. Yeah, yeah, we're schoolmates. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so you know to each other before you you form a team and and participate in this competition. Is that right?、Yeah. All right. Then the the another big questions: How you two communicate and solve the like cultural barrier? Ah,、uh, yeah. We ah、uh, we both bring our own ah、uh, prob ah、uh, we both. Like bring our、uh, both of our brains together, and then we like we use both of our different cultures, and we use it to like、uh, to like find solutions. Because since we're both from different cultures, we both know like、uh, different types of stereotypes or、uh, any type of like、uh, hate crimes or anything like that. So、uh, since we're both from like other cultures, we can、uh, we use that、uh, as our As a way to find in our podcast to like find a solution on how to educate others on how like how harmful what harmful like what not to say like as harmful things. So yeah. Thank you. Then I suggest you bring more more team members like from Japan, Korea, Russian, or、um, then they make it more like inclusive. Is that right or? Okay, then then we move to the last team. That's the Echo and Lavia. Can you talk about your your project for seniors? Um, yeah. So we're Team N, and we're the helpers for seniors. Um, our team focused on making seniors in our community feel more acknowledged because we found out that they're being ignored, especially now because of the pandemic. A lot of Family and their friends are ignoring them. So we created our project called the Why Share Challenge, and we interview different seniors and we post those as videos for other、um, youth and teens to watch, and so they can learn from the advice and the life stories that seniors have to offer.、Um, we've conducted interviews already with、um, seniors that have made a really big impact in our community. And we're also working on interviewing everyday seniors too, such as our grandparents and our neighbors. So, what do you learn from your grandparents, those seniors? Um. So, like for my grandparents, they went through a lot 
like in their childhood. And my grandparents, they immigrated from Hong Kong. So they have a lot of stories to tell in their immigration story as well. And I think other um, seniors too, who are immigrants have a lot of stories to share and they're really valuable. So we share them as videos so then other um, teens can learn about it too. You know, that's a song called uh, Listen to Story from Your Mom. Hey, mama yeah. you know, uh, that's one song that is like that. So um, I think to, I finished all my questions. And Grace, do you have any, anything to add? No, OK. So then uh, that will become the free chat, OK? It's not run by one. Mm. I think my question is that uh, by in the in the pandemic, right? So uh, we use Zoom, we use internet. Do you feel you like you young people like you guys? Do you like more in person interaction or the than the one on on internet on online? I definitely prefer in person because you get like face to face interactions like personally I was online for like that remaining half of grade eight and I felt it like very disconnection with my peers because it limited us from communicating and discussing different perspectives on different issues and so the fact that we got to um later how with the after the pandemic or like how we opened up now I get to see people and socialize and it was like a really comforting experience so now it's more open I think it Back to normal or back to inclusion is not far from far away now. What about others people? But I, I know normally people say that young people they always on, on keyboard, on cell phones. Is that right? So even even though you you may see the other one on like three feet away still talking on the phone or texting. Is it that the normal culture for young people or digital culture? Um, yeah. 其实还好就是我觉得在网上社交也有它的好处比如说我们可以即使不在同一个地方我们也可以去通过网上的这些网站去交流然后还有就是比如说有些人可能比较害羞比如说像我就是性格有点内向然后有的时候其实在别人面前
it's it's just like part of the journey and you just got to accept what you're doing and just take each little thing um, a step at a time and embrace what you're doing because we're honestly lucky to go uh, to great schools, have great teachers and have such a great education system. So just embrace that and be grateful. And that way it helps me like not be stressed with all the work I'm doing and instead like be thankful that, oh, wow, I'm able to do this. Yeah, I think Jennifer is so quiet. So can I ask a question from you, Jennifer? So that you're a team leader for these young people, right? So you're not much then your boys older than them. So how you lead them, how you train them to become, I mean, to learn from you? Uh, I like to say that we're within the team, we're all learning from each other as it's also my first time being the lead. Um, I guess it's important to know everyone's views and definitely step back and not be too overwhelming because that's what I, that was my behavior at the start and I definitely didn't have the results I wanted. Thank you. Grace, you have any question? Oh, okay. Um... Uh, I have a question like uh, why uh, to everyone, why you are apply your project? How does people interact with you? Like for example, you promote your project, how the people, how your friends, how your family, how the uh, uh, classmate, the, um, the, re the reaction for you, for your project. Or like uh, some of them maybe they are very uh, exciting about new new things, or some of them maybe they are just like, well, I, uh, it's not my business. I just want to stay away. Tiny one, give me some idea about that. Um. So Rahu so uh, time flies. Uh, we are going to end this interview. Can anyone, uh, everyone has like 30 seconds to tell us how you think about today's web interview, how you think about device, the CYC, and let's say, maybe we forget about that. My question is that about your future, how you see your future? That's the closing remark. Which one, a very? Uh, uh... 特别想感谢就是突然的TV和CYC给我们的支持 um, I think the CYC has really helped me um, understand what I want to do with my future. It's a really valuable experience, and I recommend joining the CYC. So then, recommend you your friends, friends too. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the CYC was a great choice by me. I think um, it, it was such a great opportunity for me to learn about new things and really like understand how my future is going to go, uh, how many businesses work, and um, a little more, opens the book a little more into the real world. 
And it's just a reminder of um, the exciting possibilities in the future. And this is just the start of that journey. Jade? Um, I would say the CYC definitely provided us with a precious opportunity. Uh, and I think the CYC gave us a very opportunity to help us to meet more people, to meet more people, to 嗯,这是一个非常有意义的经历。Simon, no? Yeah, I always wanted to get into society and get involved, get my hands dirty, and give something to society that, you know, that was beneficial for everybody. And CYC really helped me do that and guided me through the process and everything and made my, made that, you know, little dream come true. So I'm forever grateful for CYC, and I feel like, it's such a great opportunity for me and even coming on this interview and talking with you, Joseph, and everybody here, it's been a great opportunity. So I thank you for that. Yeah, I'm very grateful for my experience at the CYC and for what I've accomplished. And I hope that I can use whatever I learned here to apply it to my future endeavors. So last words should be from Linda, right? You didn't talk much. Via, have you spoken and Jennifer? I uh, just want to give them the chance to your final remarks. <laughs> yeah. We are dead, yeah. To be fair, they yeah. did, they both did? They did, yeah, they did, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, um,那我就讲一下吧,就是因为可能我们华人的观众比较多,其实在这些,在西外系当中呢,看到这些年轻人,他们充满了,就是说, uh, 啊對這個社會的一種呃怎麼說呢希望怎麼樣子他們充滿了就他們很passionate 可以就是从这些年轻人身上呢，得到他们的那种正能量呢，我觉得那感染力很大，并且不单只是他们这个氛围里面很大，他同时他们影响到身边的家长、同学，然后呢再把它很正能量传回过来。所以呢，我觉得